How do you feel, Cody? Huh? You're the world's biggest 15. Huh? You're the world's biggest 15. Bench 305. Bench 305? Jeez. So we have a fight club right now. You better pan it towards me. <laughs> I have an amateur camera gun right now, but we have a fight club going on in the studio. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Here's we have a bunch of contenders, very interesting contenders. And bouncers. This is our security. What's up? Five percent just for that. Five percent? I'll get more. How about yeah, that? After. I don't want to lie. Just search. <laughs> If I'm being honest with you guys, I feel like this video is going to do a little bit better than all my other videos. Hold up, let me turn this down. But for all the new people here, a um, little something about me. I'm going to start doing more vlogs. If you guys like my Fight Club content or maybe the boxing, hopefully I don't get demonetized or the video doesn't get taken down. But if you want gym vlogs, whatever, in school vlogs, me going crazy in school or just training in school and giving out training knowledge in my recaps every single time, just hit me up. I know that's what TGR did. He got pretty big off that. And I feel like I'm in a little bit of a better position than TGR. I'm younger. I have a nicer car in the beginning and I'm actually doing it with real results. So... With that in mind, I have hope I can become bigger, bigger than TJR. That's my. This is going to be the 327 recap. We had literally one trade. I think Val's going to take over after this to give you guys a recap. But the only thing I saw on the day was this soup, which I called them in my analyst channel. I wasn't able to take a trade off of it because if I'm being completely honest with you, I was asleep. Like, I was straight out, I, I marked out what I saw, and, yeah. um, what was it? Yeah, here you go, I'll show you, I'll pull up my analyst channel so you can see my thought process real time. OTE turtle soup, I wanted to see us dump straight off of this. This looks super So it was good. a turtle soup, right? Yeah, it was a turtle soup, plus we had a breaker right back here. So everything lined up perfectly for shorts. I normally, I would have taken it, or I would have taken it without signaling it to you guys, because it was kind of risky, just because of open, and that's why a lot of people didn't take it. If I would have uh, saw this respect, and I said, um, what was it, that's where we want to scale down, 
yeah, this is where we want to skill down. I would skill down the second I said it was Consequent Encroachment. I would be fine with really forcing a short at this very moment. Because I know narrative, with our open at 9.30 and us respecting this PD rate, it's like a Judas win. It's our false run up right away into a total suit plus breaker. So this is actually a perfect example of, I think this you could call this a sell model right here. Because I always love these particular, if you guys see my TikToks, the one video that's blowing up right now. This is almost the exact same setup that we had. If I pull it up for you. This is probably second leg uh, redistribution, which is almost the best market maker model you can think of. Um, it's, hold up, it's the one that has 500k. Where is it at? Right here, 667. You'll see it. Look at this. This was almost the exact same trade. We retraced into our OTE of our market maker cell model. See our OTE right there? Tapped into it perfectly, turtle soup, everything lined up. Literally exactly like how it did today the only thing different was we had our open and i was asleep so if i was able to anticipate it and saw the five minute respect of consequent encroachment which was just the middle of this here valley gap we could have taken a massive take profit i held it down to this low or monday's low which another thing i want to go over if you guys have been showing up to my recaps regularly can you guys remind me or enlighten me what i've been saying i wanted to see for this entire time what was i waiting for market maker sell no, I've been waiting for us to return into a discount and us taking out this low and retracing. I'm thinking tomorrow could be the day we could finish this off. I don't remember what news we have. Also, I don't have school Friday, so I can live trade if you guys want. Um, let's see. Yeah, GDP, sure. consumer sentiment. I think with the news we have with unemployment claims, we might be able to shoot down and retrace into a discount or at least manipulate up higher so we can get the narrative for Friday so we can go lower. But what I really want to see, I want to see us push lower and retrace for Friday to get a TGIF setup. Other than that, we missed our one good trade opportunity, and the reason why I didn't retrace, someone, I forgot who told me this, ICT apparently said, uh, the reason why we didn't retrace is because time lined up with it perfectly, so we didn't have the need to. I don't yep, really understand that too well. But, I did. No, yeah, you valid did. But one other thing I want to show, since you ran out this high, this is a breaker. This would have been the one re-entry play I could have taken. And we push this breaker. If we scale into the one minute, I want to see if there's any type of retracement into a discount that we formed, which obviously you can see that we did not. Unless you want to use this range right here from this high to this low, but at this point we already formed this um, unicorn. So anyone that likes to trade these continuations or anyone that's willing to, this would have been a really good show for you to take. Honestly, because I used to take trades outside of our range, which I never really recommend it. But with our current narrative with no retracements other than this small one opportunity into this unicorn, which is just a breaker plus for a value gap. Perfect short again for a re-entry and stop. You could really have a really tight stop on this. This volume imbalance could be your stop loss right here. Simple 10 handle stop. I wanted to be targeting Monday's low, which I think a lot of other people want to see get taken out. And that would have been a clean, what was it? Almost 100 handle take profit. That would have been maybe like 5k in one day. Imagine taking that with two NQ cons. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Yeah. So what I really like to think about, imagine you're taking a bunch of loss, like you're trading an XFA, your losses are small. You keep taking these loss, loss, loss after loss. You take like five losses in a row. One winner would literally make all that back up. It's crazy. If you have the right risk management and you'd be up on the account, you'd be up and you'd be able to take a massive payout. So I think staying hopeful and looking for the A-plus setups is good and also journaling your losses. I think that's something a lot of people need to work on. And another thing is, let's see if he's in the recap. He's not. Okay, there's another guy that was trying to take a trade inside of all of this. Every single time we what was it had this swing high swing low any type of low or high that we formed he was trying to take a trade so for example he saw this power of three i wouldn't have personally taken it just because we're close to lunch and looking at price action we're just chopping around so with this accumulation we run out this low we don't even respect this her value gap or this order block it's just really messy do we even respect uh, i mean threshold let me check oh we did I think that's why we got the decent run up, but we didn't even run up this high. So this guy, he had an entry off, what was it? I think it was off this fair value gap, or it could have been off, I don't even remember. I just remember seeing him take a long, and he was so excited to be like, this is the first good trade I've had in a while. I'm like, bro, it's not going to work out. He got stopped out in a ran, and he just started, he started going crazy. Like, I actually started freaking out, because it was his last trade on his F XFA before he blew it. And he was trading one, mi uh, one micro contract this entire time. So I don't understand why he's going a little bit crazy over it. One more thing, um, I think this is during lunch, so this isn't valid, but this is a sell model, just because running out this high, mean threshold of this order block, that would have been a decent sell model, even though, of course I wanted to lower, we already ran out Monday's low, so that wouldn't have really been good. After running out Monday's low, I wouldn't have been any more bearish, I would have been completely bullish, especially with this failure oh. swing right here. 
I took that cell model you told her talking about. Oh, really? 1248? Uh, I'll tell you. I entered exactly at uh, 1 p.m. Exactly oh, at 1 really? Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that's an exception then. Perfect. Were you targeting this soup right here? Because there's another turtle soup right here. See this? Yeah. Uh, no, I wasn't looking at the soup. Bro, I would have uh, shorted the soup. I, I, I did. I'm not going to lie to you. I saw the... I had confluence with the wick to the very left side with the inverse fair value gap on the one minute, and then I just took it. Because, like, I took, I, I mean, I already told you, I was done with my XFA, so I just hopped on evals, and I saw that scalp, so I just took that short scalp. I held it to the daily um, Monday's low, so I caught a quick 29.75 points off of that. Nice job, and I took, a, I took a short right after that, too. There was a total soup. Um, exactly at fourteen ten. Tell me, uh, tell me what you think about that. 14, I took that exact, yeah, yeah, yeah. I took exactly at fourteen ten. I took that. I took it at price point of let's see. I took it exactly at fourteen eighteen four fifteen. Like that. I took a long, yeah, fourteen. Would you enter 18, off of? 14. Is it just like this power of three? What is it? Just this power of three right here, or would you? Enter yeah, yeah, specifically? yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Like, I would have been primarily bullish after I saw the run on Monday's low. So after but, I read uh, Monday's low, hmm. I entered. The reason I entered basically tick. Yeah, no, that was tick tick. No, I was like one tick off. Um, I was one tick off of tick to tick because you know like how that low rate that we tap. That's if you check on the day. Um, if you check Monday's low, if you draws Monday low right now, that lines up tick to tick with Monday's low. Like on M and Q, it, it's it's like one tick off on NQ, but lines up tick to tick on M and Q. Mm -hmm. So I got a tick to tick entry long off that power of three. Yeah. No, I sure we also that. had SMT too. Yeah, so we had SMT as well. You see three drives down here too? I haven't seen I took a, I took a short position in the first in the first turtle soup. I entered around eighteen five oh five point seventy five. Mm -hmm. And I got like a two K, three K profit. I closed around one K one thousand two hundred fifty. What time? Uh, fourteen. Oh. It was like thirteen thirty. Okay. 13, Do we have any 30. questions about today? Because today wasn't really. It was more like a one shot thing, and then we had some smaller opportunities within. There were way less handles than I would have targeted. Still, opportunity is opportunity. We should have. Uh, we should have been ignorant. We should have actually been able to trade it. I was a little bit too busy. I had to do a whole thing. What was that presentation? In my class, so I w wasn't really able to. Hopefully, when I'm finished with this quarter, I will have opportunities to become a day trader again. Because right now, I can't really trade. It's more like I'm just trading by myself. I can't give out two signals for you guys. And most of my trades are kind of, what was it? They're more lower quality setups, honestly. Just because I can't really trade with time anymore. And time is probably one of the more important things to trade with. Yo, I got a question. So, so like, yeah. when, tur when turtle soups usually happen, like... Is uh, another like turtle soup bound to happen to like try and retest the the first potentially level? retrace? I usually want to see a retracement to OTE. I oh, um, man, so can you ask that question in chat? Because okay. I don't know how I answer. Yeah, I don't even know what he's asking. Should. I really, I really oh, don't even know what he's asking. Okay, what he's asking? Which you can go back and buy. Okay, can you go back into a trade and buy and keep selling it, buying, and buying after, even after you've already been in it? Hold up. What? Can you say what? it? Can you, wait, can you just unmute and like say it, please? I'm kind of confused. What the sigma? Wait, so can you go back into a trade and buy? buy? Keep selling and buying even after you've already what? been in it? Uh, yeah, I'll take a lot. Like, <laughs> you're in a trade and then you can buy more. Okay, hold on. I'll think. I'll think. Okay, so <laughs> go back into a trade. Okay, so that means you're going back in time to a previous trade. And buy and keep selling and buying even after you've already been in it. I think she's talking about entering and exiting uh, the same trade. So are you talking about like continuously entering and exiting? So for this example, you want to go down here, you want to buy here, sell up here, sell here, buy down here. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, okay. Yes. 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 That's exactly what it was. Bro, my language. Yes. I knew it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Um. Yes, you can. As much Mantis. As What's up? I'm gonna do a quick yap session real quick. Okay, so what's it, what's it gonna be about? Cause I gotta know and so I so I can end the recap. It's, oh, it's oh, it's okay. So you know that entry up top at yeah. the very top, yeah. it lines up perfectly this with OTE. OTE. Exactly. Yeah, this it's perfect. Like, like like perfect fractal. OTE. Hey, this was a fractal setup. Same thing with what was down here too. 
Bow. Like, like, but, uh, you, you can check it out. No, no, like, like, no, draw it good because it lines up perfectly with 705. Like, for, for like, the, ve- the, the, you know, like, the first show I took, the OTE at the very first show I took. Hmm. Hold on. I gotta explain what Turtle Soup is. Okay. Here, Starlight, look at my uh, stream real quick. This is probably the best thing. I also have a video on it if you want to watch that. Okay, so. I think at this point, after watching TGR or whatever you're watching, you should know what a liquidity sweep is. It's all it really is, is a liquidity sweep with, um, it's going to sound complicated, but PDA rate, it's a order block fair value gap, which this is a fair value gap. It's any type of liquidity sweep with a PDA rate. It could be order block, fair value gap, breaker block, which we had one right back here. But usually we just trade them off uh, liquidity sweep plus fair value gap. And when we see the middle of the fair value gap being respected, that's a really good sign that it's a turtle soup. In my opinion, I think that's the best way I can simplify it. So it's just liquidity sweep, fair value gap, with the middle of the fair value gap being respected. That's just from personal preference. And it's really simple. Uh, li- li- liquidity sweep is one like, it passes a it, buy side liquidity. Yeah, or yeah. The this is buy side, this high right here, this is buy side liquidity. So we run out yeah. buy side, but we respect this fair value gap and we properly retrace. The market always wants to retrace because it needs to offer, what was it? It needs to offer better buying prices for smart money, the people who control the markets. So basically we run up, we have to give prices. This is optimal for them, the OTE, optimal trading. What does OTE stand for? Optimal trade entry? Yeah, right? Yes. This yes. is their optimal trade entry. They usually want to be at entries inside of z- this zone or at least above the 0.5. So when we're inside this zone, this is where you want to be looking for a trade. And I don't see anything else here. There's no bias of liquidity. There's an order block that we run straight through. What else do we have? We have a turtle soup inside of OTE. And that's just, that's beautiful to me. I love that. Especially after yep. we form an internal cell model right here. Bro, I'm not going to lie to you. It's absolutely perfect. This is a second stage redistribution of a market maker cell model. Man, this so, you're, you're pissing me off, not joy. Okay, well, so OT, OTE, OTE, you do OTE at 7 in the morning. Like, the top left should be 7 in the morning. No, I will not. Okay, well, <laughs> you're yapping. Let's see, 7 in the morning. Uh, Tuesday, two, Tuesday, 7 in the morning. Yeah, seven. Right, what do you want me so to yeah, that's, yeah. So up, yeah, yeah. At the wick high, mm-hmm. all the way to the wick low at basically Tuesday sixteen. Sixteen. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen's four, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's find it. No, it's Wednesday. Hold up. I'm messed up. 